Consider the following surface that we might want to sketch and identify. x squared plus y squared equal to z plus 5. So first of all, we'll start by finding some horizontal cross sections. And horizontal cross sections are values of z, where we put those in and look at the relationship between x and y. So it's often good to start with z equals 0. So putting that in here, x squared plus y squared becomes 0 plus 5 is 5. And that is the equation of a circle centred at the origin in the xy plane with radius equal to the square root of 5. So we could start by drawing that. That means that will have this general appearance. Let's pick another value of z. And you can see here that if we pick values like z equals 1, for instance, we'd get a circle with radius square root of 6, for instance. What would happen if we pick z equals negative 5? And substituting z equals negative 5 into our equation is going to give us x squared plus y squared equals negative 5 plus 5, which is 0. So x squared plus y squared equal to 0. The only values of x and y that will satisfy that are x and y both equal 0. Therefore, that cross-section is a point at the origin in the xy plane, 0, 0. So let's now pick a value of z that will give a negative number here on the right-hand side. Let's try z equals negative 6 which will give us, when we substitute that in, x squared plus y squared equals negative 1. So a sum here, x squared plus y squared equal to a negative number. No values satisfy that for x and y is real numbers. Therefore, the surface does not exist at z equals negative 6. And in fact, any value of z in this case that's less than negative 5 will also give that situation of a negative number on the left hand side. So therefore it appears that this surface does not exist for z less than negative 5 and our cross sections for values of z greater than negative 5 are circles. So now we'll try setting x equals 0 and y equals 0 in turn to get the vertical cross sections. x equals 0 leaves us with y squared equals z plus 5. So that's a relation between z and y, meaning z axis will be vertical, y axis will be horizontal here. And what type of an equation is that? It might help if we rearrange to make z the subject, which you'll see gives us z is equal to y squared minus 5. So that's actually a parabola where there's a vertical shift of negative 5, meaning it's a parabola with a vertex at negative 5. And because the y squared is positive, it will be a parabola pointing upwards like this. And you'll find a similar thing if we set y equals 0 here. That will leave us with x squared equal to z plus 5, which rearranges to be z equal to x squared minus 5. Basically the same shape, just now we're in the xz plane. So again, parabola with a vertex at negative 5, pointing upwards. So we're now ready to draw our surface in three dimensions. We can see that it is actually a surface where we had parabolas when we looked at our vertical cross sections and we had circles when we looked at our horizontal cross section. And in each case, the parabolas were pointing upwards with the vertex at negative 5 on the z-axis. So that means that we could start by drawing that general shape for our parabolas. And then to convince the reader it's three-dimensional, we won't actually see the circular nature of the horizontal cross sections here because it's flattened onto a 2D page. But for instance, drawing curved lines as shown will clearly show us the appearance of that surface in 3D. And this is an example of a circular paraboloid here.